All right, Kate from Utah has given us a challenge today. Oh yeah, she gave us a challenge. So, do you guys recognize this spunky little girl? This is Junie B. Jones. And today we are not going to be using a Sharpie, nope. We are just gonna be using pencil and color pencil to get her look. Um, because it just made it look more like Junie B. Jones. And we're just gonna go step by step. It's all on about uh, the lines and the coloring. So we're gonna get this done together. So if you guys would like this, that'd be awesome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, um, do so, so you know my next video comes out. Also, I don't remember how I got this request from Kate. Um, so if you guys can like message me again, I don't know if it was like email, uh, comment, uh, Facebook, um, because I got something for um, Kate and Penny. So if you can message me again, that'd be awesome. Anyways, okay, let's get started. We are gonna go up here, we're gonna start with her head. Her head shape is not circle, not really, it's it's rounded, but this rounded is, it's pretty square rounded. What does it look like? Hmm, fingernail? <laughs> yep. Okay, now we're gonna do our signature down the middle and across. So right here, I hope I'm doing this right, we are gonna do her eyes right on top of here. Her eyes look like they're kind of not particularly round. And then she's got little black pupils here. So after you do this, we're gonna outline it in black pencil and then we're gonna color it inside. So she's got this little nose right here and her smile, I like her smile, it goes from one side to the other, but it's thicker on the edges. You guys see that? Little, little knobbies on the edge and then a little bit of under. And she does have eyebrows, you can just barely see them, but they're in there. So I'm gonna have you guys erase the T-bar. Oh, you know what, let's use those for the ears. So we know, okay, the ears are gonna be right here. So now you can erase that crossbar. Okay. Okay, we got that. Now for her hair, her hair is going to be swooshes. So we're just gonna go swoosh, swoosh. And her hair actually comes over, right here, it comes over the ear. And you're gonna do the same thing right here. Just two, two swooshes. And right on top of here, let's get her bow. So we're gonna make the bow come in here. And then she's got this giant bow on top. So we're going to do that. And do this side. Oh, went too far. Because she's got her cute little bow. And let's see. Okay, so now let's do, I'm doing this little piece that comes off of here. And she's got this big top of the bow up here. So we're gonna come up and over and then make it loop around. And let's do this side. Okay, that's her big honking bow up there. So now we're into her hair coming out. So it's a lot of swooshes. So she's got some hair coming out here. And then, oh my. So her hair is gonna be in there. And this side. She's got a cute little like long bob here. And we're gonna be coloring, we're gonna end up coloring in here, but at least we can see. Okay, that is where her head is. We wanna make sure we get the bangs long enough. They almost go all the way to her eyes. Okay. 
Let's color this just so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so take the black. Actually, let's do black at the end. Let's take the skin color. Let's go in there. And just go one direction. Around her little nose. I like to go around the eyes with the skin color. And go around the outside of her face. I think the this is kind of blending in with the pencil, but that's okay. And a little darker around the mouth. So come in with the tan color. Let's give a little shadow under here. And a little bit on the outside here. I think what she really needs is pink cheeks. All right, we're gonna go for the pink. Go one way. Go the other way. Do the same thing on this side. And I put a little pink on her on her lips. And a little pink on the nose. And I think I even put a little pink above her eyes. Okay, so for the what I did for the hair, I am going to go in with my brown. And we're just going to color this in very lightly. I'm going to put in yellow in there in a minute, but. Should I just, you know what? Let's just do the black. We're just going to get the black in there because we're starting to lose where all that pencil is. So let's go hard in there with the black so we can see where those lines are. Oh, you know what we forgot? The ears. Let's color a little bit in there. Almost forgot those. Okay, so we're going back to the black. And we're going to outline all of our lines so we can see them. I'm doing them really hard so we can see where those lines are. And then she just has a couple of swishes of brown, I mean of the black, so we know where that is. swoosh there. Okay, so let's do this side. Get her little popping ear there. And we're going to go around her eyes. And the illustrations, they're just black. And it's just a little marking of a nose, her mouth. Make sure you make it a little darker on the edges here. And her bow. Big honking bow. Oh, I'm gonna go around the face too. I'm just gonna leave a little mark right here because we're gonna be putting a um, shoulder in there. So you guys can make a little lump there so we know where that shoulder goes. Okay, so let's go in with our pink. Actually, I used hot pink and orange. So you're gonna come in lightly with the hot pink. I think I did regular pink too. Let's try this, let's see, let me try to do it very gently. Okay, I just went very lightly with the hot, This what is it, the magenta? Just darker right around the corners and I'm gonna go over it with orange. That's what got me that look gives it a nice uh, pink corally color. And yeah, I've gotten some challenging requests, but we just try to do it step by step. So now come in with your orange and go in opposite direction. So let's go this direction, just very lightly. I probably went a little too hard, but lightly. Get that Junie B. Jones look. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our 
Uh, let's do the yellow. So we're doing yellow in her hair. Let's just give it some yellow in there. And then we're gonna go in with our brown afterwards. I'm not coloring the whole thing yellow, just a little bit of yellow there. Now we go in with our brown and let's just color in the rest of the, her hair. When you come to the little swooshies, they can just swoosh out. Swoosh. She kind of has some crazy hair here because She's a little spunky, mischievous thing. Junie B. Jones is hugely popular kid book. That's who she is. And it's about a feisty, funny six-year-old. So she's six years old. And she likes to get into trouble at school and at home. So she, that's why all the books just, there's always something she's getting into. Always getting in trouble. I think I might have um, made her eyes too high up, but you know, probably if I did this a hundred times, they'd look different every time. So I'm just gonna draw some hair in there. And I'm going harder along the edges here. I also think I used a different color brown. Let's check out this other brown. This is the light brown. I think that's the one I, actually use oh look at that I put some light brown in there it just kind of warms it up a little yes light brown okay so let's go back with our pencil okay so she's got her actually I think I you get the idea I think I made her skin a little darker here I'm gonna color that in a little more Let's do the arm. So her shoulder is up. So do you see this part we made right here? You are gonna make this, it looks like a hot dog. So you wanna make that coming off. And this is a piece of her sleeve and then her hand. Now, Junie B. Jones has lots of like um, lines that are just like sketched in there. That's the signature look. Now she's got this little pot belly sticking out. So you're gonna come along the back here, but she's got like lines here, line. And then this is gonna come down. But she's got her belly, so up here, make this come down and she looks like it's like a collar of some sort here and it's striped. So we're gonna be striping that in there. And she's got this belly that comes down Oh, looks kind of comes off here. And then this is the other half of the belly. And we have the shirt. Now right here. Yes, this is a challenge, people. We're gonna put its buttons in there. So she's got green buttons. I'm gonna erase inside the green buttons so I can color them green in there. All right, so along the bottom here, this will put over there too. She's got these lines, but we can put that in with our colors. Now we're gonna put her back arm. It looks like another hot dog, but it's kind of square. Coming out the back end, swinging her arm. And then there's a piece here on her sweater. And that will eventually have stripes in there. And here's another line in here. Okay, so we got the front and the back, and do her fingers. In the illustration, they only have like three fingers. You know she has more. Okay, her skirt that's coming down, you're gonna do a swoosh here, and we're pretending like we can see where that leg is coming. See how there's a, there's a leg that's coming out here, but we're only gonna see a piece of it here and here, so we can see where it's gonna come off and her back of her skirt is swooshing. So you bring it out and this is gonna go down. And then under here, you're gonna make this, oops, 
kind of come around. And this is gonna come back up, okay. All right, now I don't wanna see that line there. Okay, her skirt is gonna be swooshing out here. So you're gonna make a line over here where her leg's coming. And then this part's gonna be kind of fun. You're gonna go up and down and up and down and up and down. This is her front part of her skirt. It's just flying. I guess this is gonna be attached to it. Yes, this is quite the challenge. Okay. Wow, I made her, she looks a little pudgy, but that's okay. Let's put her skinny little legs in there. So coming out of here, we got her skinny legs and she's got knobby little knees. They're gonna come down and then she's got a little, teeny little calf. And the back leg, the leg comes out and then she's got a little knobby knee and then it's gonna come down, a little back calf. Now she has one sock up and one sock wrinkled down. So you do this line here and you just go woohoo on either side. Kind of makes it look like it's wrinkled up. All right, so for her shoe, so I'm just gonna draw outline. So you kind of see the foot here and the foot's kind of here, okay? okay? But now we want to draw the shoe on there. So she's wearing these cute patent leather black plastic shoes and has a sole on it and a heel. Okay, this side is a strap over. Oops. And then it has that shape in there. And line at the bottom. And a bow here. Okay, this is the gist of it. So now what I want you to do is take the black. I lost the black, oh, it's way up here. Now we can go over our lines. Okay, I realize I made the eyes in the wrong spot. That is gonna drive me bananas. So go over all of our lines in black. Colored pencils are harder to erase. That's why I do everything in pencil first. Let's see, what else do we know? Um, so the series was first started, the book series, in 1992. Can you guess how many books have been sold since then? 60 million copies are you kidding me holy cow let's do the buttons that's a lot of junie b jones books and the books have been translated in over a dozen languages can you guys think of what languages those might be these are just some of them so we've got catalan slaven we've got greek Indonesian, Lithuanian, Turkey, Ven Vietnamese, Polish, and Portuguese. And I'm sure by now there might be even more. Oh, I'm sure it's Spanish too. And what else? French. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Capital One. All right. We are almost done outlining this, and then we can color inside. I'm debating, do I start over or just keep going? 
I'm kind of a perfectionist because those eyes in the wrong spot are driving me bananas. Well, hopefully you guys moved down your eyes so they weren't so high up because they're a little high. All right. So now we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you, just like you did with the bow, we're just gonna have the magenta and orange. So lightly color in the whole. going on now let's go in here and do skin color i did forget her arm over here so we're going to color her hand in and then her hand here and make it darker along the edge here you can even take in some of this tan along this edge all right for her legs Okay, go under here, make it darker in there. Around the outside a little darker. Her shoe, her socks are white, but you can always give it just a touch of gray if you want on one side. And then her shoes are black. Oh, I forgot her green buttons. Let's color in her green buttons. There we go. And her black shoes. Super job. All right. I'm just gonna get a little darks and lights in there. 
And on the bottom, it looks like it's like just a little pink underneath. Pink right under there. Okay. All right. Have a fantastic day. Peace out.